regarding the Climate Change Week now. In that staff meeting, we framed an event in order to target different objectives at the same time. Climate diplomacy, economic diplomacy and public diplomacy. We also decided that we should work with different partners in order to gain ownership from local actors, but also to share the burden of the organization of the whole event. We have been working with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on one side and the Subcommission on Climate Change of the National Assembly on the other side. These are the two key actors for public policies and norms for the implementation of the Paris Agreement in Venezuela. So, by organizing this international seminar on climate change, we have been trying to promote peace diplomacy by opening a dialogue space where actors from all Venezuelan political affiliations could come together to discuss a matter of common concern. To make of the seminar a true success in terms of public diplomacy, we use TV, radio and social media before, during and after the event. We dedicated a corner for the press for them to be able to interview any participant they wanted to. We also set up stands to showcase EU cooperation projects in the environmental field and we also distribute general information of the EU. I was in charge of the coordination of this event from the first beginning and I had the chance to be in touch with all European Commission DGs involved. The Euroclima program sent three experts to the event and also the FBI sent their person in charge of extension of the Global Covenant of Measures. We wanted this event to be an occasion to promote the European companies of high technologies in the fields of renewable energies and energy efficiency. A panel was exclusively dedicated to them. The presence of binational chambers of commerce and also international financial organizations like IDB, CAF and UNDP led to promising perspective for new business deals and for financing projects of public and private institutions. CSOs and universities also actively participated. We could finance the whole seminar and the trips and hotel of about 20 city mayors. We are proud to say that the seminar welcomed more than 300 participants, despite the last-minute cancellation by the government side of the public authorities. The speed dating facility we put in place the day of the event and the meeting organized the day after allowed for loads of fruitful contacts. Even business deals were made. But the most encouraging results were the enthusiasm of the Venezuelan Mayas to participate in the Global Covenant of Mayas. And second, the numerous messages of thanks, the likes and retweets. Venezuela wants to participate in the global fight against climate change.